Shipmates, CNO Gilday here. Six months ago, I asked each of you to listen and to ensure that we heard you. We stood up Task Force One Navy to help identify inequalities across the force regarding race, ethnicity, gender, age, and rank. Today, I'm here to announce that the task force has completed their report and we will begin to implement many of their recommendations going forward. I'm joined today by the senior leaders of the task force who will share some of what they found. Admiral Halsey, over to you. Task Force One Navy conducted hundreds of listening sessions and focus groups around the world. We participated in defense-wide efforts to address issues of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. We spoke to a host of leaders and experts, E1 to O10, active, reserve, retirees, civilian shipmates, and consulted with experts in industry and academia. We dove into the data, statistics, and the demographics of our Navy. Ultimately, we organized ourselves around four main lines of effort, recruiting, talent management and retention, professional development, and innovation in STEM. And finally, we took a hard look at several other issues, from women's policy to the naming of ships and buildings and disparities in our naval justice system. Our report contains more than 50 recommendations for the CNO that will help remove barriers, level the playing field, and make our Navy an even better place to serve. These recommendations include initiatives like making sure there's a better mechanism for sailors to challenge a performance evaluation if they feel that it is not fair or justified, improving outreach in underrepresented communities so we can increase our Navy's diversity of talent, taking a deeper look at our pattern of misconduct and non-judicial punishment policies to ensure they are being fairly applied, and to evaluate our selection board process to provide post-board feedback to eligible and interested candidates. And there are dozens more. Some gender-specific recommendations include designating a specific advisor on women's policy issues within OPNAV N1. This advisor would leverage one of our new management advisory groups made up of members from a cross-section of rates, ranks, designators, genders, and underrepresented groups to understand the barriers to service that women continue to face and make recommendations on how to remove those barriers. This could include things like uniform apparel, grooming standards, parental policies, and other recommendations. As we move to a more technically advanced Navy, we are also working to strengthen our inclusion of civilians and STEM programs to further develop and enrich both technical and collaborative competencies for civilians and sailors. I want to thank the entire Task Force One Navy team for their extremely hard work over the past six months. While some of these changes will be put into place soon, other recommendations will take time. But make no mistake, what we are implementing will no doubt make our Navy better. I am deeply committed to this effort, and I hope you are too. But most of all, I ask that you show each other respect. It underpins everything that we do as people, as sailors, and as a Navy. We'll see you in the fleet, shipmates.